Yo, yo, yo. So uh, I'm on my way to work now, just driving. I woke up early so I can uh, check out the um, uh, Loki uh, episode of the Disney series. Um, and I thought it was very dope. Uh, Glorious Purpose. Uh, the episode starts off. I like how they continued it from like where we last seen our update of Yoki, just him grabbing the Tesseract, the Space Stone, and just tell her getting out of there you know loki's known for just disappearing or vanishing or just getting out of them situations um so then they they bring him to this prison and it's pretty much it kind of it's kind of like going through the motions of like when you sign up for something they're like hey sign this these are terms of agreement of course you don't read them in the next stage it was like all right are you a robot if not blah 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 and he's like it, it kind of like how they do with us when you got to when you're trying to fill out some online and they make you prove you're not a robot. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty much just standard or whatever, going through the motions of, you know, these procedures. Clearly, he's not taking it, um, he's not taking it, uh, seriously. Um, he's even, you know, I, I like that he keeps his Loki character. Like, he's like, oh, this is Asgardian leather right before the machine vaporizes it and puts him into, um, you know, uh, the little jumpsuit. So, so it, it definitely humbles him a bit. Um, I do, I do like that that they did have the whole uh, other prisoner like you're like hey take a ticket. And Logan's like I don't you know I don't need no ticket. There's only two of us. Then the other guy didn't have his ticket. Boom, vaporized him right then and there. So then Logan's like all right, this is serious. So then when they do go to court, um, now I noticed in the court in the background there was like three little heads and I, those are I guess like the council of time or the keepers of time or whatever that made me think like and one of them kind of looked like Kang the way like the helmet shit was I don't know I could be speculating a little bit but I don't know so I don't, anyway if it's like a, if it's anything about time I'm thinking Kang in the back of my head like somewhere he's got something to do with this hopefully I don't know that'd be cool to see him uh and then so uh, I like I do like how Loki typical Loki character he's like um you know they like how do you plead he's like oh God doesn't plead and then I do like also that he's trying to low key blame the Avengers like which which is true he does got a point he was I shouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the Avengers going back in time I wouldn't have uh I would have uh I wouldn't have been I wouldn't be here in the first place so and then they're like no it uh it pretty much goes with the flow of time or that's what's supposed to happen. Uh, which got me thinking, because, yeah, this is a council of time. Um, like, I'm sure Doctor Strange has meddled in time enough to where he's probably had an encounter with them, I would think. Or um, or even Thanos. Like, I'm pretty sure Thanos was, you know, messing up time. But the way they came to... The way they um, talked about it was, like, you don't even have to do anything bad, really, for to mess up the timeline. They say, like, even if you do this or some small little step... Uh, that could alter the timeline. We gotta come and fix it, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, just how anything, well, of course, anything can do affects uh, the flow of time or like your different reality or whatever. But it's interesting to see, like, all right, this is what you're supposed to do, this is what's supposed to happen. They kind of pick apart that. Um, I do love that they had like a drawer full of infinity stones. At first, I thought they were fake. At least I, I still think that they're fake. But when he picks up the tesseract, and then later he's like, "Oh, you tried to use it? Yeah, infinity stones don't even work here." But the fact that they're like, and I don't, and I don't think Loki would be fooled by fake infinity stones. I think he's no, like he knows enough of them to know what they are, or or maybe feel the presence, I guess. But apparently, this place infinity stones doesn't work. They had like a drawer full of them, just like you know. So I thought that was kind of interesting in itself. Um, so yeah, uh, he's so then they when they have him watch all these videos and the highlights of it, which I thought was pretty cool, gives us like a little flashback of uh, how um, how uh, Loki, how Loki's been over the years. In case we forgot it, that I also do like that it shows like he actually does react to his mom's passing or whatever. And then he ends up reacting to his own death. Like, he's seeing all this happen. And apparently, um, and of course, Loki gets out of this situation like he always does. But he's still there because, like, the lawyer kind of, like, bails him out or takes up for him. And I guess they have a plan to use him. And then I think they're going to use, well, they said they're going to use him to try to take down an, uh, a Loki, like himself. So I guess there's another Loki in another timeline or alternate universe or something that's causing mayhem. Which I think that'll be interesting. I want to see like where this other Loki come from, because the last we seen Loki grabbed the space stone and uh, teleported out of there. 
it also puts me in the mind of uh, Red Skull. Also, because at the very end, when they actually do show, like, all right, these people showed up ready to capture Loki. Um, Loki was already there, and he, like, burned everybody with the oil field. And then he had, they didn't show his face, but he had on, like, the Red Skull cloak kind of deal, like the hood and the cloak and everything. That made me think of Red Skull, because, yeah, he, that's what he wore at, uh, in the later Avenger movies, but also he did kind of grab a stone and, and got teleported somewhere else. So I want to see what where did he go? What happened to him? Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely excited to see the next Loki. I got a bunch of questions. Uh, I got a bunch of theories. I don't. I actually don't know where it's gonna go or if it's gonna be like a Loki chasing Loki through time or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I do hope to see Kang. I do like that they plugged. Uh, they did talk about like the multiverse. Um, and that's like Doctor Strange's next movie coming up, like into the multiverse or something like that. So it's going to be good. It's going to be a goodie. I can't wait for the next uh, Wednesday or Tuesday midnight. Well, Wednesday at midnight uh, when these drop. I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to stay on top of them if I can, uh, but just get my thoughts here and there. But uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out and what other things it opens up. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. So, yeah, but thanks for tuning in, and until uh, next time.